All right, and this device only has one button on the left side. It is a reset button right here. And the back of the unit has this wall plug here. Now, both plugs are the same size. That means you can even plug it the normal way or you can flip it up upside down if that works better for you on your wall outlet. It actually looks really nice. It's white and it has this gray fabric in the middle here. And I believe the speaker is under here. Now, one main reason to buy the Ring Chime is that if you do have a video doorbell from Ring or you have a security camera, you get notifications on your phone, but if you're like me and you mute your notifications on your phone, it's good to have an audible chime that you can hear when somebody, for example, rings your doorbell. Maybe your security camera is placed somewhere in the back of your house where not a lot of people should be walking and you wanna get notified when someone is walking by, then this will also alert you via an audible chime as well. Now it's very easy to set up. All you do is bring up the Ring app. It's already installed if you own a video doorbell or a security camera from Ring. All right, now that we're on our smartphone, you're gonna go ahead and select the Ring app. Go ahead and press that. It's gonna bring up the Ring app and go ahead and select the icon on the top left. Go ahead and press it and you'll see set up a device, which is a few options down. And it's gonna give you a message saying if you would like to use Bluetooth, click OK. Now you're gonna go select the third option, which is Chimes. And then you're gonna go ahead and scan in the QR code. You can find that either on the device itself, on the retail box, or in the quick start guide. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit try again and scan in my code. All right, it will ask you to confirm your address location. So once you complete that, you're gonna see an animation here. This is gonna pretty much tell you to place the Chime Pro somewhere between your router and your wireless doorbell. Once you've done that, hit continue, and then follow the prompts and instructions to get this device onto your home Wi-Fi. And as far as Wi-Fi connectivity, the support 802.11b, G, and N via the 2.4 gigahertz band. And another very cool thing about this device is you can pretty much control everything about this device from the Ring app. So you can actually change the chime tones. There's a variety of chime tones that you can pick from. You can adjust the volume to your ideal setting and temporarily snooze alerts all from within the Ring app. Okay, and just so you get a better idea about the actual size of the Ring chime, here it is next to a standard wall electrical outlet and again you can plug it in however you want you can go ahead and plug it in the normal way and as you can see here when you plug in the ring chime it doesn't block your other outlets you can go ahead and use your other outlet normally which is a really nice feature also because both plugs are the same size you can go ahead and plug this in upside down if you needed to so if you wanted to plug in your ring chime to the top and have your bottom outlet available you see that there's plenty of space to plug in stuff to the bottom outlet all right i hope my video on the ring chime was helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video